Hello everyone, this is um, a video that's recorded to support you navigate Miraki once you have logged in. So when you log in, you receive this kind of a screen. This is the screen that you're seeing. And what, what you really need to do is there are two ways in your, you can use Miraki online. One, you can play with for yourself. You can, if you're looking for creating some insights for one of your own dilemma, then you just uh, click on preview and go here and you get all the cards here. What you need to remember is this login will support you to open four cards at a time. So let's say, think about your favorite numbers and say 15 is my number, then let's say 21 and then another 30 and then let's say I pick up 39. So these are four cards. The moment you select four cards, the cards get locked. That's the system. Uh, that's how it is designed. So you get, you see all these four cards here. And now whatever you were thinking about, you look at these cards and see what clues are these cards providing you. The beautiful part of this uh, tool is that it provides five clues on each card. So you need to create meaning out of it, right? This tool is about creating meaning. So you look at these pictures, this imagery, look at the questions, look at the words, look at the, uh, the icon that's given to you to understand what this may be telling you, what the may, uh, this may be communicating to you about the conversation that you're having in your mind. What you can do is you can create comments here for yourself on each card, let's say. Let's see, you're, you're, talking, uh, you're talking to yourself, you're playing the Meraki with yourself. You can actually create comments here and it will be visible in the system. Now that's how you play Meraki with yourself. Now let me go back here and let's see if you have to play this with more than uh, yourself. Let's say you have one more, one person, you're doing a coaching session or a conversation. Um, so every time you uh, play this beyond yourself, you will have to create an event here. So you, here you go, you create an event and here you're seeing the previously created events. What you do is say add new and give a name to it. Let's say coaching session with A, whatever. You put the date and time of the session. Let's say I'm just putting it right now so that I can move ahead because the, the login will be open for the participant only at the, at the given time. So I'm, that's why I'm putting the time that is now, right now. Let's say I say 4.15 and I say, let it be open till you know nine in the evening. So so whoever is getting the invite can come back till this time. So I save. So the attendee is recorded. Now let's say I'm playing with more than one people. I can go ahead and add their name. Right now I'm adding my names for the sake of example. Let's say I want to, and I need to have a different email ID. The moment you have added this, a mail will be triggered to them with the link. So let's say I say save. So this is beyond if you have more than, you know, and you can, by the way, invite 20 people as per this package without any obligation. If you want to play with more than 20 people at a time, then you will have to purchase more credits to add those things. Generally, we have seen the groups are not beyond that. So that's why 20. Yeah. So here the attendees are added. Now I go back to the events and I see my, my coaching session with A is scheduled for this particular time for 5.15 to 9.15. Now, the moment I did this, uh, an email has been triggered to these two participants and they will get a link to join. In case they come back to you and say, hey, I have not received any email, you have the option to click on this and send the email again. That's how you do it. Once, um, let's say this is a starting, uh, you know, we, we, everybody got the email. It is 1st September, 5.15 p.m. And all of you need to get on. Then you ask them to log in and you can do the session through Zoom. Either they can share their screen to show you their cards or, you, yeah, I mean, that's the way, right? You, you start your Zoom or whichever tool you use. They can log in from the link they have got and they can share the screen to show you what cards have come up. If they choose to not show you the card, that's also fine. You navigate the conversation based on what they are seeing. It becomes much more simpler if they are not showing you their card because then they are engaged in 
making meaning of the cards themselves it's not looking for direction from your side right i just wanted to make sure that you understand that every time you need to do a conversation with somebody else it has to be done by creating the event and inviting them that's a important piece there will be no email which will come to you when you create an event because you already have this login and you can directly go to preview and start playing the game when if you let's say if somebody is here they have four cards and they say you know i don't think i'm getting any clue from here they can go ahead and delete those cards from there go back delete go back delete or may they may say not all cards resonate i want to exchange two so the moment they reduce the number of cards from here let's say here there are two cards you will have opportunity to um, repick two more cards sorry yeah so let's say i said delete this now i have the opportunity to pick two more cards i can pick these two cards and make it four the moment it becomes four the cards get locked now i have two more cards for my conversation yeah this is how you play meraki um very simple to use in case you have any questions the email id is given to you you can actually reach out to us for more questions do uh, watch some demo videos on youtube the link has been shared with you to make it uh, make it uh, more just to have a starting point in case you need so that's all this is pretty simple reach out to us in case you have any questions for us thank you bye bye enjoy the mysticism of miracle